Welcome to the Atlas session on Diploma in Experimental Science. I'm Janice Smith, and I'm a member of the Atlas Committee. We are the group in Aperio that um, invites and selects and awards experience and excellence in teaching and learning through Aperio projects. We're especially interested in the kinds of innovation that you'll be seeing today in this session. Uh, I actually had the privilege of discovering this project when I was in Mexico in March. <laughs> Ursula and Marco have been a member of a per members of Aperio for a long time, but they were we didn't know what was happening in Mexico. And I happened to be there and looked up the Bernal family and discovered that they had a very have a very large project going at something at a university called UNAM, Universidad Autónoma de México which is the largest university in Latin America. They're using Sakai in a very innovative way, and you're going to get a first look at their project this morning. Um, I'd like to say that they've gone through, they've been, since they got to the conference, they've been experiencing some pressures from back home. Probably lots of you have had phone calls and all kinds of things going on while you're out of the office. Well, they had an avalanche the last couple days. And then this morning there was a technical glitch. So there are some issues today, but we'll forge ahead and give you a good look at the project that they've put together. Ursula Bernal is the CEO and project director of EduRed, which is incorporated in the country of Mexico. She started working in distance learning in 2001, and since 2006 has developed a deep knowledge of educational processes and, in, and is an expert in planning and building strategic solutions. As project director for this diploma in experimental science, she is passionate about education and innovation. And uh, among her very many responsibilities, she provides support for the deployment of the Sakai CLE to improve teaching and learning, collaboration, and research, also leading efforts using MOOCs. Marco Antonio Bernal is the EduRed or URED Director of Technology. Uh, for this project at the science faculty at UNAM, Marco has led a complete redesign of the frontline student services experience, successfully leading the design process and managing the organizational change aspects of the science faculty at UNAM. This project is an online course created by the science faculty at UNAM and sponsored by an organization called COSDAC. I don't know what that means. It provides high school teachers with innovative tools for the teaching of experimental science. And these are high school teachers connected through the internet throughout all of Mexico, many, many states. And it um, helps them with an interdisciplinary perspective approaching the teaching and learning of science, something that we in the United States have a great need for as well. Um, they have integrated science from physics, health, chemistry, psychology, biology, and geography. And the development of Sakai and utilization of Sakai boosts the effectiveness and efficiency of this effort in science education and collaborative learning. I present to you Ursula and Marco Antonio Bernal. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Janice. Uh, hello, uh, well, what a great presentation. Um, I, well, I'm going to show you what we did in, in the science faculty at the UNAM. Uh, we are uh, co uh, commercial affiliates. We were uh, commercial affiliates. And uh, the importance of this diploma is the collaboration and the multidisciplinary. So it's working the National University uh, of Mexico, but is sponsored by the Public Education Secretary. The Ministry of Public Education uh, in Mexico works together with the COSDAC. Uh, is the uh, is specialized in in high school uh, high school level. So they support all the country for public education. 
So, well, when, when we come here, we saw design, uh, uh, explore the, the strongly and the fragility of the freedom. And that's what we explore in this, in this course implementation. It's how, how we, we could, uh, well, the challenge was 5,000 uh, high school teachers from different backgrounds uh, are where um, chem chemistry, uh, physics, mathematics, uh, psychology, uh, health, science, and diverse uh, kind of teachers in all the country. So was a, a really challenge to teach, to teach science to the teacher from the science perspective with researchers giving the, the, the class and, and the teachers having the, her, their first experience with uh, researchers uh, at the UNAM. So it was really, really uh, good challenge because the multidisciplinarity, the documentation uh, and the learning analytics. So we, uh, the, our background was 24 researchers from the uh, UNAM. They made the course. They start to collaborate with in different groups, uh, making different models. Where 12 models of 12 weeks, well, uh, 12 weeks and 10 hours per week, and in each model they saw different. Uh, Areas. They in the first model was how to teach science from the science perspective, how science is 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 not a method. Uh, the important thing here it was is to teach the teachers to make data, how the how the student can make data, and how they can apply to different multidisciplinary areas and uh, between physics, health, uh, uh, chemistry, biology, uh, ecology, until arrive to the climate change and the natural resources. So uh, w uh, was uh, a very interdisciplinary group. Uh, they come together in like five, people per group, they, they put uh, six models in, in each uh, six parts of two modules uh, each part. So they work together too with 101 researchers acting as tutors, multidisciplinary too, again from uh, different uh, research institute uh, at the UNAM from the science faculty, from the physics institute, for, from the chemistry institute. So they collaborate directly with the tutors uh, and researchers. So, and uh, we work uh, as a company together with all the team at the uh, Secretary of Continuous Education at the UNAM. So it was a, a really, really uh, big course. So what's the aim of this? The multidisciplinary collaboration. What happened with the multidisciplinary collaboration? Sometimes happened this. So <laughs> it's, or like I and Dolphin say yesterday, two plus two plus two gives five. So we have different perspective, we have different kind of collaboration, but what helps a lot to this project, because it was a really successful project, was that some teachers and some researchers were using Sakai at the science faculty for presential courses, was his first distance, distance course, they use uh, Sakai for, presen for, for presencial education, 
but, and the, it the gives more easily uh, collaboration. Well, for this, we made sites for tutors. Uh, without Sakai, I think this project wasn't possible. We made this project in about three months. Well, we, we, we planned this, this project for three months and to get all that people, because we're really uh, expert uh, researchers, to get together all these all this kind of people is really difficult. So Sakai helped us, really, to make easy the collaboration. I think uh, they, I, they are talking a, a, a lot about the, the next digital generation tools, but I still think the next digital generation tool is Sakai because cover all that the uh, ecosystems and the digital uh, covereth because now uh, open portfolio it's outside <laughs> but but with the with the portfolio can feel all the necessities from an institution and can make the collaboration possible so the sites for, for the researchers were, were different. We, we have uh, um, 17 uh, uh, collaboration sites for the, for the researchers. Sites for the, for, for the courses, the course sites, where each course has four, four, 40 teachers. And the most interesting is that each teacher has from 50 to 400 students. So the, the analytics of the results of this, this course is, is really interesting. Well, what we use, we use all, uh, almost all Sakai tool. Uh, I think... Uh, the, the revolution of the of the uh, learning and management system is the lesson builder. It's still the lesson builder. Uh, we use the Charles Severance uh, rubric inside the page of students. We we use all the integration with activities, with uh, evaluations, uh, and and we take advantage of all the integration with uh, another tools, outside tools, like interactive applications and individual group and peer assessment. So the teachers work in a really different kind of, of, of ways. And uh, they, they made, for example, in a wiki, uh, uh, they, they made a homework about the megadiversity of the uh, species. So they have to put in a table a uh, work that they did with the students. So we have a 3,000 row table in all the country with uh, a very rich documentation for the megadiversity of the species. Uh, well, that's one example, for, him, for example. Uh, but in all, in all those, these areas, oops, sorry. In all these areas, uh, we have an example for each area of documentation and of learning analytics. So um, this is how the module, mo module one starts. It's the introduction to the uh, science teaching from the science perspective. Uh, and well, all the, all the models were really different. Uh, each group designs the, uh, the model of, for, for a different, in a different way. They, they personalize their necessities, and that's the, the big of Sakai, no? That's the, the great use of Sakai. I think the next challenge for, for this is to put all this documentation from the teachers and the students in a portfolio 
uh, design. So if, if we can do that for the next generation, I think will be really complete, this course. Um, well, the results. Uh, well, the, the learning outcomes were excellent. Uh, I think I have <laughs> little time. Uh, uh, I, can, I, can, I can read the, the, <laughs> the book. But the, the red one indicates how the student uh, uh, arrive to the top of the outcomes. So the, the red one indicates 100 percent. The, the, the yellow one indicates from 60, from 80 to 99 percent. The, the blue one uh, from 60 to 80. And you see it's a really amazing results from uh, 5,000 students. This is the 5,000 student statistic. And how the tutors work, the second one is how the tutor work with the student. Again, the blue, the blue one say is ha they have an excellent uh, contribution from the, from the tutors. And I think only the 2% say ha, uh, no contribution of the, of the tutor skill. So it was really, really amazing, the, the results. We have to say was the, it's the first time the, the tutors use the platform for a distance course. So sometimes we had teachers like five or six hours per day uh, answering teachers. So it was really amazing that. Well, now Marco is going to uh, talk to you about the, the platform and what we did in, in the science faculty. Thank you. Good, good morning. It's a pleasure to coming to to will be with you, and and we only with Sakai can make all these things, in the sense of the freedom. We have a platform in the faculty, with in this graphic we can see the the use for per week since 2000, 2011, and before to to go in the experimental science course, we was a basic education course of English and, and different aspects in the basic education. And we have a, a lot of users in, a, in the same server that we, that we was. You can see that in July of 2000, Yes, in July we have a grow and we need to take a solution while we have maybe 2,000 per day connected. And as I try, I try to say, we can make another implementation to Sakai and, and we can take more users the, of the quickly manner. We, we have a, a low, a high use of the platform with six servers in a cluster. And, and you can see we arrived to eight, 80,000 connections per week. And, and the, the limit of user close to 5,000 in any week, no? You can see the graphic in the in the x x x axis. We have the week, and in in the y x we have the number of of connection in blue, and in red we have the 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 number 
Unix connection, ¿no? We, we attend in the experimental science this, this number of professor in each state, the very interesting thing. You can see the states like the, the north or the south states have uh, less users at the center of the country, but they have uh, problems with connections. Sometimes they can, they try to go to some location where can connect and maybe connect one or two times a week, no? But in a very diverse country, we can take information of professors in all the country and they can apply it that they learn to his groups and in in some cases these teachers have a uh, 500 students each semester and for this is a really really high su success and and only with Sakai was possible this. The, the idea, we, we can deploy new Sakai, we, we jump to the 2.9 to 2.11, in the sense that the new tools in the Sakai version will, will be better to the to the objectives of the course. And next, we, we make another implementation and only taking care with the data. You can keep all the work to know in this course. We, we finish in, in December. And you can see next in February, begin another, another course with less students in the, in the case that the teachers can be connected. And we can work another three months work without problem. And we try to keep the database and, and you have a, a data portable and no need go into the original Sakai in the faculty that has a data of of five years, a lot of courses, and and this is the the meaning of the freedom in in the in the Sakai. No, if you try to make with another another platform, it's very difficult. And and we have a a little twelve gigas file with the database and, and only try to implement the service. And you can see the course any, as you want and not need to so not, not be in the original deployment of the faculty. And for this is, is a, a really, really success why we can make a lot of Sakai in a little big courses, little big courses. <laughs> and, and only with Sakai was possible this. Thank you. <laughs> so I think it might be useful for me to summarize why the Atlas Committee chose this project, why we were so impressed with it. First of all, Sakai enabled a group of researchers, a group of tutors, a group of teachers all across Mexico, and a group of students in all of the states of Mexico to connect, to connect on a very important topic, climate change, to connect with materials that are supplied by Sakai through the efforts of the original research group and the dispersion of, by the tutors to the receipt of the teachers. These materials were created so that any teacher could take material from their own house, their own 
uh, neighborhood and construct and experimental um, experimental experiments using so like rubber bands or paper plates or things that they could find in their local environment to help students do experiments directly related to climate change. I know in the United States there is a great dearth of um, science knowledge at the lower levels of education and the idea of having university faculty do, do something so practical and so collaborative to help high school students is just amazing to me. Um, and to, in fact, um, recently in Minnesota, we're thinking, how can we get some of these materials from Mexico through Sakai to our um, immersion classes in Spanish in the high schools in Minnesota? So they may have an impact beyond Mexico, but, even, but right now their impact in Mexico is tremendous. I think that when they were showing the results, the thing that didn't maybe come through was before this project, in the same courses that were being used to educate teachers, some teachers um, were in these courses by awards, they, they got an award to be able to attend the course, and some were forced to take the course because of te needing to improve their teaching. So uh, I understand that two-thirds were forced to take the course and one-third were awarded the course. Regardless, the pass rate, as you know, online courses pass rates are, are not very high in MOOCs. Well, they started with a pass rate of below 25%. I think it was 23%. And at the end of one year of implementing this program, the pass rate went up to over 70%. So in terms of completing the course and getting what the project was intended to do, this is a miraculous event. And it's because of Sakai and because of this interactive, um, innovative team in Mexico City called URED or EDURED. I, there's two companies and I don't understand the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, Ursula is thinking about playing a movie. I think it's a very short movie. I think it's a long movie. Too I long? I think we don't have enough. Okay. Enough right. time, but uh, I think we can use the time for for questions. Okay. And we, I can upload the the video if you want, and it's translated. It's a video from science faculty for for uh, from the the persons who made it possible. Uh, the director of the uh, continuous education of the UNAM, Alfredo Arnaud. Uh, the coordinator, uh, she was Patricia Alcázar. And all the researchers that participate, the 24, <laughs> are not interviewed, the 24, but they say the principal. The principal is the, the one group of researchers at the science faculty start like uh, 10 years ago to make a, a knowledge of science uh, encyclopedia for high school students. So this is a really hard work from the science faculty and a lot of researchers uh, start to write about different topics in, in for, for specifically for high, uh, for high, high school? school students. Yeah. Sorry, I can say the word. But uh, they start to make this project and put together a lot of materials during more than 10, 10 years that are presenting in this, in this course. So maybe we made very quickly this course, but it's working science. 10 years ago with a lot of groups from the science faculty, and they find a place where to put together for a specific for the teachers. So, so this is really nice too because it, 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 it comes uh, a lot of, of researching groups uh, 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 projects and uh, can make it possible quickly in a, in, a, in a course. 
We have, uh, for, for example, not with the UNAM, with, uh, with another institution, with the Mario Molina Center uh, for the Climate Change, the Nobel Prize. He is making courses too for, for teachers of high school. And now they have a, they have a 100 and 1,500 prof professors prepared, but in the next year we'll, be, we'll pass the million of teachers taking these courses. So it's a, a really nice opportunity for, for teachers who has not science uh, exper experience, even they are uh, teaching science, they never had a contact, a real contact with the science work, with the science research. So uh, it, this project is in United States too, it's, it's working really hard. The how to approach science from the concept. It, it's like, like Sakai, it's a concept. <laughs> so it's, it's not easy to, to understand it. It's not easy to put all the places together. We don't want to make a model of courses. The, I think to think about in a course model is like to think about in an experimental method for science. In, when science is a, is a concept, no, it's, it's not a method. So uh, I think it's the same for the, for the courses and for all the platforms, and especially the platforms are working in Apereo with the freedom uh, concept, with the collaboration concept, with the multidisciplinary concept. So this can avoid all the adapt and, and all the concept that Malcolm talked yesterday with the ecosystem. Any questions? Uh, Jenny said the completion rate is a 70 percent. Definitely a miracle. Above 70 percent, yeah. yeah. In some groups, we're the 90 percent. 90? 90 percent. Wow. And okay. was very amazing because for, from all the country, and we assured that the ran, to randomize the, the groups from all the country, and from this perspective, they were ours and the Polish <laughs> teachers. Okay. So uh, the, the context, context were really, really different. Mm. But the, the I think the success was the, the, the tutors, all the, all the coordination of the, of the tutors were really well organized because one tutor was from from the Physics Institute, but he didn't know about the climate change so, so good as the, the one of the Chemistry Institute specializing in that topic specifically. So they start to make a collaboration in, in a site and then go directly with the students, participate actively. Yeah, so you think the secret, uh, secret of your success is organization, collaboration, uh, is there anything else? And Sakai, I and think Sakai. it's very important Sakai. Without Sakai, I think this was not so easily possible for the teachers. So it's, it's more easy to have the, the climate change space and the chemistry space to ask questions for, for that specifically and then to go to the student directly through sites, moving, moving through sites, then trying to get forums from this from here or to get another application from another. So I, I think the success, successful, it was a, a structure for the collaboration in the, in the multidisciplinary uh, ways. And the emotion of the teachers to have first contact with a real research uh, doing science. No? That, that, wa that was very interesting too. 
Yes. I'm curious how the tutoring worked in Sakai. So was it was the tutoring online yes. in Sakai? Yes, the the teachers were from two to three hours diary answering questions and grading the the some activities. Uh, were one hundred and twelve activities during twelve uh, weeks. And like the 60% were evaluated by the, by the tutor. So one tutor takes 40 teachers mm -hmm. and they keep a lot in contact. So, so I, uh, the did, did, did you use a tool in Sakai to keep the tutor in contact with the yes. students? Like forums or? Yes, no, all all the all the different uh, tools connect with the uh, tutor and the students. For example, we made a, a group uh, assignment, mm -hmm. and the the tutor was following that group, uh, the uh, how the the students made mm -hmm. that group and oriented them. We made a peer assessment, peer evaluation. Oh. It was another oh. kind of activity. Mm -hmm. And the tutor uh, finally approved the, the, the peer evaluation of the students. Sure. Uh, we made a wiki. The wiki mm -hmm. we made, right. the, it was followed for the mm -hmm. students. In all the tools, the, the mm -hmm. tutor was in contact with the, the student. The principal was a lesson builder through the commentary uh, tool at the, at the end of each, um, each uh, topic. Mm -hmm. So they comment, even they comment with uh, Sakai forums orga organized, they comment to into the lesson builder too, tool. Thank you. It's important that Sakai can make why the the community that work in with each each tutor in in one group can can closely today in a email and in in the work maybe some teachers can stay every day connected you can see in the in the graphics. At, at, at week, maybe arrive to four four thousand in uh, average the red line. At week, and maybe in one week, all the group can be connected. But in Mexico, have a culture the the tutors, everyone was be a postdoc student so. Or and, degree. and make a connection with the teachers and say, so oh, if you want you coming to my place and some place with beach or in a, in a very far places, maybe in the Chihuahua Sierra and, and make a, a community to friends. And for this we make hincapié in the Sakai works in this manner. Maybe not Moodle, not Blackboard can be make this. The the fact to to make another another implementation and, and you can keep all the things is only with Sakai possible. Uh, everybody you can see if if we put this course to the implementation of the faculty, we can make the course while have another course and have more. And here can works very clear and and very portable. Maybe I think we've reached. I think we've reached the end of our time. Um, please find Ursula and Marco Antonio in the halls if you have more questions. They'll be posting their slides and the movie on the conference site and, um, and 
anyway, you, they'll be posting it for your use. Thank you for coming today, and thank you for supporting the Atlas process in Aperio. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>